Look at this thing oh, just God. going off like crazy. Who's right. touching our meter? What's up fam? Welcome to another haunted adventure here in Los Angeles, California. And before I show you the house that we're gonna investigate, I just have to share this house across the street. That house was in the show Charmed and this neighborhood is beautiful. Like every one of these houses, I think they start out in the two millions. Very popular house. Salem's Lot too was filmed in that house. So we are here with Wacky Witch TV. And she made a video in the Charmed house. Yeah. And it was it was a, your first video on your channel. It huh? was, yeah. It's my I think it's my first video. Maybe my third video. I'm not sure. That's so cool. So I'm so jelly. Fun. I know. And everything in there was amazing. The woman that we're going to film right now, she owns that house. She owns the Charmed in Salem's Doesn't house. she own like this whole neighborhood or something? She owns 30 houses here. 30 yeah. houses. Yep. Wow. A great friend of mine. So let's go in and find out yeah. what we're going to investigate. What a neat house. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of the, what house was it that I stayed at? It was the the Lizzie Borden's house, the the Maplecroft. Yeah, this reminds me of the Maplecroft. Love all the woodwork. Yeah. Oh, is that the piano right there? That's the piano. Yeah. And she. Is she gonna tell us the story? Yeah, she's gonna tell us the story. I don't know the exact story, so. Okay. Um, I don't want to say, but yeah, it's so exciting. Sidewalk, yeah. you know, and it was, it was just junk, and now they're antiques. I know. I haven't it's bought anything in like ten years. It's just, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but you're amazing. Totally. Okay, so let's go sit over here. Should we just turn this light on? Look at these lamps. I don't know how much you love your home. Darth Vader. I don't think Darth Vader. Plugged, think plugged in because I, yeah. I had a movie here and they removed my extension cord, Did which it? was behind Did. there. That's okay. Didn't you say that you walked in Phoenix filmed here? No, no, at one of our other properties. But he, he did film Yeah, them just, there. just. I don't, it's called Come On, Come On, or I don't remember what it's called. But, oh, you know, okay. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. Right. I've I do. <laughs> Dolly Parton, <laughs> Cloris Leachman, oh my God. Reynolds. How long have you lived in this home? 46 years. 46 years. And when did you realize that it was, you know, that there was something here with you? Well, before I moved in, they told me that their grandmother, Lola Estrada, who was a very famous silent film actress in Los Angeles in the 20s. She lived here until she died at the age of like 95. And there was right here in the cozy corner, there was a grand piano because she was a singer and actress and whatever. One night she was sitting here at the piano talking on the telephone to her boyfriend who was like 20 years younger than she. And suddenly she uh, died at the piano in the cozy corner right here. Wow. And they said that her ghost walked the house. Right here where we're at. Right where we are. Right here. What was her cause of death? Oh, she was in her 80s or 90s. I oh, okay. She had a heart attack. heart attack. I don't know, maybe she was so excited about what her boyfriend was saying, I don't know. When I bought the house, it was a family who lived in the house for like 50 years. And it was the, the young, men who were maybe 30 then, but they had grown up in this house. And they told me this story that they used to, the parents really believed that Lola Estrada, the grandmother, walked through the house. They didn't believe it. And so when they were young, when they were teenagers, sometimes in the middle of the night, they would come down and the piano, I don't know if the piano was still here or had been moved, there's a piano over there, but that they would come down and they would play something on the piano and then run upstairs and their parents would be really scared because they thought it was 
their mother who was playing the piano. They told me that story, and you know, I don't believe in ghosts or anything. Da, da, da. I was here, and I was here alone one night, and I woke up in the middle of the night because I heard a piano not being played, but a piano going glum, 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 glum. And I was just so frightened, and I said to myself in a rational voice, burglars do not play the piano, but what was that? Yeah. I woke up the next morning, I came downstairs, and a vase of flowers that had been on the piano was on the floor. <gasps> okay, so the next night I was asleep, and I woke up in the middle of the night, and there was this weight on my chest, and I opened my eyes, and there were two like yellow eyes staring at me, and I screamed, and it was a black cat that <gasps> jumped off me and ran downstairs. And you've never seen this cat before? No, no, God, no, no, I don't like cats. So I realized the next day that it was some stray cat from the neighborhood that had come in through a doggy door I had and had come and sat on my chest. And perhaps he was playing the and cat, but you don't definitely, know for sure. I, well, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure about anything, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure that that was the cat who had walked across the, the piano, piano and had knocked down the vase. But <sighs> I don't know. Didn't you tell me that there was a famous psychic that also came in here and filmed? Yes, yeah. Her name is Lisa Williams. I don't remember the name of the company or whatever. I think it was with the TLC network or... Anyway, they came to me and they said that there's this famous psychic and she feels that there's ghosts in your house and would you mind having her come and make a, move, a film and I thought well that'll be kind of fun to have a psychic come in here and so Lisa came in and she's this tall British woman with the spiky 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 hair not what I'd imagine I'd imagine a kind of frumpy old person and I thought she would come in to the piano where Lola died but she didn't she went all the way up to the attic and she went into the attic and she walked around and she walked around and she went, I feel that someone was here and they had trouble breathing. And pff, I, I, I never thought that at all. So I was so sure that she knew the script, you know, that she knew the, the truth of Lola Estrada, but she, she didn't. So she went into the dining room and she said, I feel your mother-in-law, she's passed on. I thought, oh, that's creepy. Okay, yeah, I love my mother-in-law and she's died. And then, and then you have a daughter who has like a lot of hair and that freaked me out because I didn't tell her about that. And then she kind of looked at the back parlor and she started walking around and she started going, oh, I, I don't feel well, I don't feel well. There's someone here who, who was very heavy, who was very negative. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, my ex-husband, but, but he, and he's not dead, I said. And she said, no, 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 I can feel the spirits of people who are still alive. And I started getting really cold, because I don't believe in this stuff. Check out this raven. Just chilling here. So I didn't know this. The movie Spider-Man was filmed up here. I don't know exactly which Spider-Man. You'll have to let me know here in the comments. But it's up in the attic. Murray's made the bed for me. Normally, have been made. Wow. Love all your dolls. I was a baby. I mean, when I was a little girl. Her name is Nancy. And until about four years ago, she would say "Mama," but she doesn't do it anymore. Aww. And she's she's had a really hard life. She's had a couple of concussions. Oh, but she looks and very well loved. Somewhere she's lost a leg or two. Let me see. There's things missing. Missing. <laughs> you know how cool I think it is that you still have she's something you had as a baby? Yeah. Like, that's so cool. I still love my Nancy. And where, what about this doll? Oh, I found her at a garage sale, I think. But Nancy says she's happy for the company. But it's interesting how she just really... Stop saying, Stop saying mama, mama about a year or two ago. She's missing an arm, too. You know it'd be crazy? We turn on the spirit box and it says mama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That would be. So I had the couch, which is a bed, 
over there with the windows. And I just felt really nervous having guests there because, you know, we do have earthquakes and you don't sleep under a window. And when the children would come, they'd all sleep with me in one bed, which was not very comfortable. And then I had this epiphany like two months ago that I could move the couch to there and the table to there so there's no books here or anything to go over their heads during an earthquake. And um, I had that little blanket that I put up there because the uh, wall So was this is really where the dirty. kids sleep when they come in, when you were telling me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so cute. It turns into a bed. When was the last time you felt like a pretty good earthquake? Oh, the other day. Oh, no, I didn't feel that one. Oh, the I one did. in July, the one that was in uh, wherever it was. <laughs> you said you felt one where you were at? Yeah, I told you. There was I, one, I, I but it was, you. it was small. But you didn't tell them. You, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Are we going? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, you told oh, me to go yeah, live, so is, I did. This is very nice. This is my, my, oh, I like your volcano. That's a cool volcano prop. <laughs> Oh, sweet. We, we got that in, in Buenos Aires. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. Hmm. Of course, it's a volcano. <laughs> it is a volcano. What else could that be? Oh, wow. There's a lot in here. God, this house is so massive. So beautiful. So this is the P.S. de Resistance. No way. Look at that view. Toad. I love this home. Be careful because we don't have it all, you know. Look at that view of Los Angeles. It's not finished. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. When I moved in here, the tallest building was the Bonaventura Hotel, which is not the smallest. This is amazing. Dang. Wow. We're pretty high up, huh? Yeah, we are. And we're not even on the attic floor. These are my father's uniforms from World War II. He was a major in the army. That's his summer uniform and the other one's his winter uniform. And again, the same thing. They're getting eaten by moths and they're getting damaged, but I'm enjoying them, you know, rather than in a box. Oh my gosh. So is this where the psychic said she felt somebody that used to breathe really heavy? Well, you know what's funny is I'm kind of starting to... Well, it's called dust. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> it's a really cool attic up here. So this is where Spider-Man was. A lot of movies have been filmed here. I don't remember what they were. But Spider-Man was definitely filmed here. And they had him go out that window, which is onto a, it's onto a small roof. Um, and it wasn't the stunt man; it was the actor, and he was not happy. He wasn't happy, huh? No, he was not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an old TV? Yeah. Oh man! If you turn it on, you'll see Milton Berle. No way! Does it actually turn on? No, it's, it was not plugged in. Oh, okay. Dude, that's so cool. I, am I wonder how much this. You should sell that on eBay. Why don't you have that downstairs? That's so cool. It doesn't go with the Victorian house. Yeah, it does. Well, maybe not. No, yeah, that's 50s. that's more fifties, right? Fifties. I would, I'd turn that into a fish tank or something. <laughs> All right, I have my cellulite rock. Selenite. Cellulite. Selenite. <laughs> Whatever. You don't want cellulite. Cellulite. <laughs> Selenite. Oh, this just oh, this just started going off. That hasn't gone off the whole evening. So this is an EMF meter, and Ghost will use it to kind of show that they're around. It just spiked to red like three times. Right, we'll put it up against your shot. Whoa! I see. Look, oh look, my look, gosh! Look. Not, we I'm, didn't even get red at my house. <gasps> yeah. Look at that. I wanna. Wow. Just turn Sorry. off the light so you can see that it's yes, going off. Yes, turn it off. Do you want to turn this one off too? No, 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 that one's fine. Oh, we're perfect. Yeah. Oh, come on. Wow, it but that was cool. We did there, see there, it. There, there, there it goes. Look at that. So we are going to use a spirit box app 
trusted by many paranormal investigators. I've introduced it to a lot of you before. If you want some more information on it or want to try it out, there is a link down below in my description. It's pretty awesome. Just please be careful using it. Using this protective crystal, I'm going to put it over my phone while we do this. Now, I did ask homeowner permission uh, to, to do this. Sometimes this could stir up whatever spirits are here, get them started. And she's okay with that. She's like, you know, hey, bring them on. You know, if they want to come and keep me company, you know, I'm good. Absolutely. <laughs> bring them on. Bring them on. So who's here with us tonight? Here. <gasps> that said here, right? I when knew, I that was what? crazy. Look. This. So who is here? Heath. Heath. And Tiffany and Heath. Heath. Can you say mama for us? Dan. Dan. I thought it was like Diane. Said Dan. Dan. Can you say the, the name of the woman that died here? I guess there was another woman. Mom. There was another woman in the 1800s that died going down the basement stairs. It was Maud. Her name was Maud. What was her last name? Hi, Maud Heim. Hi, Maud Heim. But Lola Estrada. Is Lola or Maud here with us? What did that say? It sounded like a woman. Is there any women spirits here that want to communicate with us? Ten? Ten. We're getting a lot of you talking. Look at the meter. That meter that is so stubborn and I cannot believe how much it's going off. Look at that. You can do that in my house. No. It was like stuck in the middle of your house. I honestly thought something was wrong with it. Who's touching our meter? I said I am. Man. Did somebody die coming up here in the attic that we don't know about? Can you hear me? We hear you. What's your story? You're welcome here. Was it really a cat that jumped on her? No. I said no. I know. What about the piano? Who played the piano? Harold. Harold? Harold? Maybe it said her? Diane. Diane, I heard Diane again. <laughs> Who's Diane? Was Diane somebody else that was here? <laughs> here. <laughs> Have you heard of the name Diane here? <laughs> At all? What happens in June? Mod. That said mod. That said that legit said mod right now. Mod again. It said it again. Okay, mod. mod. So you're here with us. She died in the house. She died in the basement. What happened to you? Were you pushed? We can go. To Again, that Maud. was so clear. Yeah. Oh my god, that was so clear. So Maud, I have a question for get you. Out. I clearly heard get out. Go ahead, ask a question. What was your dealing in the basement? Did some did somebody push you, and it was ruled an accident? Yes. heard mod like 10 that times. That was, no, that was so significant. Yeah. The, the male that came through and said mod. Were you murdered, mod? 
Ma, do you want us to go down to the basement where you fell and you died? Do you want us to go down there and communicate with you down there? Let's go. All right, I guess we did make we made communication with Maude. She died going down the stairs. And it's funny because you said that you had fell down the stairs once. Yeah. Was it those same stairs? No, 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 no. These stairs. It was these stairs. Okay. Wow. I didn't die. Okay. I hope not. <laughs> Don't even go there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to go check out the basement wow. where, where Maude was killed. Um, I don't know. Maybe she's trying to make communication with us. I don't know if maybe... I, I feel like it wasn't an accident. That's just what I'm feeling. Like maybe somebody may have pushed her. What if that's the case? Let's go find out. Let's go. Look at this thing Hold just on. going off like crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hold it. It was just going off. Now it's not anymore. I'm going to hold it, but I don't want us to get pushed down the stairs. So okay. let's... Uh, you want to record it? Ow! Yeah. Why do you see in your head? Ow! I just hit my knee. I don't even know what I hit it on. Oh. Ugh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. My knee's not though. Oh, that's cool. I know. Isn't that beautiful? This is the coolest kitchen ever. Well, you know, having a kitchen even back in the 1800s, even the 1900s, was a, a luxury. Usually, like, people would cook outside. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to go down to the basement. Okay, but it's really dangerous. It's dangerous? Well, that's why Maude died down there. We're going to see where Maude died. I want to do a spirit box, like, maybe yeah. at the bottom of this? At sure. the bottom of the stairs. Let's do it. Okay. Please. Let's look at the spirit box. Oh, look at the, the tin roof. Do you want to just let us or go ceiling. down? No, 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 no. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at it already. It's really steep. Look, it's going off. Oh, is it? was like crazy yeah it is pretty steep i wasn't paying go. attention you know what i'm not gonna film going down the stairs i don't want to pull them on <laughs> so she was found right here here or oh it's here okay all right mod Tell us your story. We're right here where you were found dead. Is this, is this where you were found? Found. I said found. That's what I heard too. Okay, so what happened? Was it an accident? <gasps> what was that? I don't know what that was, but that was scary. Man, this stink. Her falling down the stairs. Died. 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 Maude, are you still... Maude, are you still down here? We're sorry about what happened to you. We know that you fell down the stairs. <laughs> Feet. You heard it said, it said feet. Turn back. Do you ever spend like a good deal of time down here? No. Not really? But I am. No, I am here. Okay. Down here? Yeah. Well, trying to clean. <laughs> Maude, do you have anything to tell us? Oh no, I'm not really getting anything. I think she told us what, what we needed to hear. I think she just wanted to make her point that she was found dead here and that she is here in this house. But she hasn't really told us if it was an accident. Dead. dead. I heard dead too. Dead. Yeah. Well, she's certainly welcome. I'd be happy to meet her and be nice to her. Yeah, she she wants you to play the piano for her 
and, no, ju- no, and jump on her chest in the middle of the night. Mom doesn't play the piano. <laughs> Mom doesn't play the piano. She does laundry. Lola. I know, but maybe, maybe. I mean, because here's the thing. She was trying to show you that she didn't play the piano because she went dung, 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 dung. <laughs> Lola would have played a nice tune for yeah, you. That was right. the cat. We're gonna to try to make communication with Lola. What's the story like on Lola's background? Like who she was as a person? She was probably Mex- an actress, right? Mexican American. She was a famous, or maybe not that famous, silent film actress. Right. In Hollywood in the twenties is what they told me when I bought the house. Okay. And she. Passed and away she right was like eighty or ninety, and she was at her piano playing her piano, and there was a phone. And she was talking to her boyfriend, who was like 20 years younger than she was, and she just dropped dead at the piano wow. of natural causes. Wow. And she was probably happy because she was talking to her boyfriend. Lola was the, their mother's mother. It was their grand. The oh, kids so they kept told in the family. Me the grand, yes, the the, the house is in the family. And so they told me that they had heard that their grandmother was a ghost in this house. And they didn't believe it, and they would play tricks on their parents. Well, let's ask. Hey, Lola, are you the one playing tricks here, or is, was it the kids? Yes. I said kids. Yeah. I thought I heard kids. So you're, so you're not here playing games. Was that you playing the piano? Are you here with us? This is where you drop dead. Laura, are you still in this house? If you're, if you're in this house, Lola, can you play the piano for us behind us? Even just to keep it. That was a kid's voice. Hey, Lola, it's Planario. We've been together for 46 years. Are you here? Because I'd love to have you here. Resting in peace? No. 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 No, she's not. No, she's not. Why? Is, you know, is there anything we can do to help you? Yep. Tell us. Do you want to hear the piano? I just had it tuned. Come play the piano for us. Are you going to get mad if I play it? It went quiet, huh? It went quiet. It's like it was listening. Sound? Do you like hearing the piano? Sure. It's pretty horrible at playing the piano, though. My daughter's a great piano player, though. Oh. Oh, good. Is that oh, good? My daughter, I'm sure she could tear it up. Do you know my daughter's name? What? Tell me my, my daughter's name. Go ahead. You don't know. Still haven't told me my daughter's name. It just said my daughter's name right now. It talked over me though. Malia. Say it again. 
<laughs> okay, I don't think you said my daughter's name. Maybe I misheard you. <laughs> but she can play the piano really good. I think we should let them rest. <gasps> this. Rest. I think we should let him rest. Okay, rest. All right, Lola, we're going to let you rest. Sorry for bothering you. Please don't bother the homeowners here. I'm okay. You're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, you can bother them. They invite you. <laughs> I invite you, Lola. We should have brought a Ouija board. Only Lola. And Maud. Yes. Nothing All right. bad. May you guys rest in peace, though. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Pizza. Pretty sure it said pizza right now. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Mind. Pizza sounds really Pizza good. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, so that last clip that you just saw right now, you know, when I mentioned the word pizza, my battery ended up dying on my camera and I wasn't able to say goodbye to you. In fact, I think my camera might have been starting to get hungry. If you've gone to haunted locations, maybe with a phone or camera, you will notice that your battery will die a little quicker than usual. I feel like that is what was happening because that was my second battery in that video that ended up draining and I didn't have any more. I did wanna share this space with you. I started a brand new channel, it's called Omar Is Live, and it's a brand new channel dedicated to live streaming. I wanted to start interacting with you a little bit more. On my other channel, The Omar Gosh Vlogs, I have done quite a few live streams. I've done a few here on this channel too, but one thing that I've noticed is it kind of takes away from the real content that we take our time editing and producing that takes you know a lot of time a lot of quality content so i figured hey why not make an actual channel just for live streaming if you're into that and interacting with me thank you so much if you have subbed to that channel i'm gonna leave a little pop-up link to omar's live be sure to check it out on my very first live stream on that channel i did mention a little bit of a secret something that is going to be dropping on october 1st something really scary in fact if you are subscribed to my vlog channel i'm going to be doing a behind the scenes video you know what I, I can't say it i can't say it you're just going to have to wait until october 1st to see what i'm talking about big shout out to my friend wacky witch tv for joining me on this adventure in los angeles california i'm going to leave a link down below to her channel and also show some love to my spirit box app i have a link to that as well down below there are two different spirit box apps probably one of my favorite tools for ghost hunting and yes it's right on your phone so you can take it with you anywhere you go if y'all didn't know i do have a tiktok channel i don't know if you call them channels but it's omar gosh 004 yeah omar gosh tv on tiktok was taken by somebody I, I call that name squatting but it's cool omar gosh 004 that's my tiktok i'm gonna be putting some scary videos i have a couple funny videos there i've done a few scary videos on that channel but I don't know. I think TikTok doesn't like my scary videos because the last few that I uploaded did get banned. So I don't know. I'll, I'll keep trying though. But yeah, if you want to follow me, I'll leave a link down below to my TikTok. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Thank you so much for your support. Before we leave though, give me a kiss. Peace.